Welcome to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we get to keep on playing this stuff and stuff. Good old yeah, whatever the hell this game is. Um, we are now in whatever the hell this is. What Violet City? Is that right? So we get to go up here and take on the Sprout Tower for now. And uh, before we go take on, what's his name, Faulkner? Is that right? Something like that. Anyway. Um, I did do a little bit of research. You know, to figure out who and, and um, you know, what we're going to go pick up. Um, and all that good shit. Oh, all right, no. I got to fight you, don't, don't I? Oh, oh. Nope. No, nope, no, nope, no fighting you. Alright, fine then, alright. Um Ah, okay. I was just saying I know there's people in here we gotta fight and shit. But um anyway, um Uh yeah. I went ahead and looked at some of the Pokemon we can go get. Um once we uh the plan is to beat Sprout Tower, beat Faulkner, um go down and get the old rod head back to Cherry Grove City, go fishing for a Pokemon right quick, and then continue on our way. And then that'll be the second one we add to the group. Um, I may, while we're back there, grab a, um, what's it called? A uh, Sentret, just as an HM slave. Um, I'm not sure if I'll need it, actually, because I was looking at, at which ones I'll, well, not really which ones I'll need, but who can learn what, and the Pokemon that I've kind of got planned out and mapped out are ones that should pretty much cover everything um also uh the pokemon that we are going to pick up um have a pretty diverse move pool i think we're going to be pretty good in in terms of uh in terms of that shit as long as we can get some tms and stuff i mean in general a lot of these pokemon that i want to get i'm not going to tell you all of them but you know some of the pokemon that i want to get you know look Look to have a pretty good move pool on their own. Um, even without uh, having to teach them some HMs. And actually, some of the Pokemon that I do plan on picking up are ones... I did go, you know, once again, look ahead and, and look at the Elite Four. Um, the ones that I do do think I'm going to go pick up are ones that will will probably help us a lot with those. Um, I haven't really dive too much into the, to the gym leaders. That doesn't really bother me as much. Um... But the Elite Four, like I said, uh, try and pick ones that are kind of off the beaten path. Um, I think some of them are kind of like that middle tier, you know, of, of Pokemon that people kind of, you know, oh yeah, that's a nice Pokemon, but don't really use it much. Um, but not like good shit, especially the ones I'm going to pick up in the next couple episodes. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that's, that's where we are. I don't think I'm going to go pick up anything... Any other Pokemon for Faulkner? Um, I was thinking about a Geodude, but I mean, we'll we'll see where we're at. But the problem is, then I gotta go use uh, what's it called, Pokegen, and evolve him, which I can do. I'm just I'm just frightened that I might fuck it up or some stupid shit like that. But I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna pick up any of those quite yet. So. I mean, it's it's not that big a deal. It's just one of those things where I'm like, hey, you know, that'd be nice to have Geodude, but I'm like, yeah, fuck it. You know, just because, you know, no one uses Geodude. Everyone hates Geodude. I like Geodude. And how many times can I say Geodude in an episode? We'll find out here. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's that's kind of where we are. I don't think we really need anything else for Faulkner. I think, because he's just a really low-level flying type gym, which is kind of nice to have a gym that's not rock right from the get-off, you know? I mean, it's... Usually that first gym is some crappy, you know, rock ground gym crap, you know, like Brock, which is unfortunate because Brock's not bad. I'd like to see like, you know, a beginning fire gym or some shit like that. I think that would be kind of, kind of nice. I don't know. I don't know if you've noticed that, but like, the um, the the gyms like kind of follow like the same sort, not not exact order, but like like plant gyms usually fall you know in that middle middle tier like you know fourth or fifth gym something like that psychic gyms are usually like seventh or eighth um in this one they actually view morty as the fourth so he's your ghost one which ghost kind of falls in that same category i think it does and um 
And Platinum and stuff, too. Although, was it, what's her name? Fantina? I mean, depending on whether or not you're playing Platinum or the other one, um, Diamond and Pearl. You know, it kind of falls in, in the, uh, the, the beginning cat, like, I think it's third or fourth gem, once again, or, um, like, seventh or eighth, something like that, because you gotta come back, I think it's in Platinum that you do that, which I'm excited to play that game. That's another game I have never finished. I have played, uh, I've beaten Diamond, yeah, Diamond, yeah, I got, like, three quarters of the way through Pearl, and I never, never beat that one, and the girlfriend has a copy of Platinum. So, yeah. So thus, I've never played it. That's why I tried to go out and get like, well, when I decided to start this channel, I went out and get a bunch of rom, get got a bunch of roms that you know I hadn't played before. You know, like I said, like Soul Silver, I hadn't finished it quite yet, or actually, I had never finished it. I, I think I beat the Elite Four and then stopped there for some dumb reason, or I was on my way to training for the Elite Four because there's there's a big gap in like the level of Pokemon you fight and. Like the the training Pokemon that they give you, like the um, like Victory Road Pokemon. There's a huge, huge disparity in between them and the Elite Four, if I remember right. Although the first time you fight the Elite Four, they are not very high leveled at all. They're pretty low level. But um, yeah, where was I going with that? I don't remember. Uh, oh yeah, uh, and I think like the. The uh, Victory Road Pokemon are like level 30 something. If I remember right, they don't give you shit. And I, and I mean this. They don't give you shit for experience in this game. I mean, absolutely shit for experience. We're gonna get rid of fucking Leer. I think he's a special attacker, if I remember right. I didn't really look that up. I kinda skimming through the Pokedex and shit like that for this game, and I was like, oh yeah. yeah. I think, I think he's a special attacker. I could be wrong. How about you? Do I have to fight you? Let's see how much you trust your Pokemans. Oh, do we have to fight Dick? Up there, I think we do. I could be wrong. Probably wrong. Ooh, shit, level seven Bellsprout. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, and one of the reasons why I'm not really gonna worry about going back and getting another Pokemon is because Pele is obviously what we're going to be using here in the Sprout Tower, and honestly, he's going to be overpowered as fuck probably by the time we get out of here. So, yeah. Because don't we still have to fight the main guy after this? And if we have to fight our rival, then yeah, we're going to have to deal with that. And you're a dick, you know that? Fuck you, Huthut. I hate this fucking thing. Oh, and that's something too, um... I'm not sure what we're gonna do about a flying type because there's not a lot on offer um, throughout the course of the game. I was kind of thinking like a Skarmory or something, but it's really late in the game where you can encounter a Skarmory and I don't know. And that typing isn't the super the super greatest, you yeah. know. But ah, uh, take this technical machine. That's for the, the dark cave or whatever the fuck. Dick! Sorry. He's, he's, he's kind of a dick. Dick escaped. Dick used an escape rope. Sorry. That makes me giggle. Shit, we're running in the ratatatas. Yeah, no, not really interested in a ratata. Ratata would be interesting, considering it does have a pretty interesting move pool. It really does. Hey, look at that. I got an escape rope, too. I wonder if that's the same spot where Dick got it from. Just wondering. Just wondering. You know. Just, just curious. Go, Pele. Um, yeah. And I'm not even sure yet. Like I said, I'm not even sure what the hell Pele can learn. Honestly. I, I have no idea. I mean, obviously, fire moves and, like, fire wheel, I think. I think. Shit like that, but... I'm not really, uh... Not really sure what we're gonna do with him. Really, it's just... It's just pissing in the wind. But, um, yeah, there's not much... There's not much for flying type, unfortunately. Um... Uh, 
I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I could get like a Huthoot. I mean, this guy could really, really irritate me here. Um, we use no, no. We're gonna use Ember, cause stab. Yeah, fuck you and your bullshit hypnosis, son. And nobody want that shit. Ugh. Growl. Ooh, okay. My attack failed, but my special attack, which is what Ember's based off of, is not affected. So hang on to that hoot hoot. Um, but yeah. Um, I could go get one of those too while I'm back there picking up a Sentret. It's just one of those things I'm not sure if I really want to. Because it's really, like I said, not much. I mean, of course, there's Spiro, Pidgeys, and shit like that, and Murkrow, but I'm really not a big fan of Murkrow. And there's really no point in using, like, a, a low-level, uh, like, a single stage, you know, at the Elite Four. Oh, shit! <laughs> uh, I forgot this little fucker evolved this fast. I really did. Um, all right, then. Quilava's is his ass is on fire and he's ready to fucking go. So I'm gonna fuck your shits up, son. That's what he says. Yeah. Yeah, flash. Hooray, I have flash now. I'm probably never gonna teach it to anything and probably not even try the dark cave anytime soon. Alright, let's um uh, oh god, I keep doing that. I always hit Y for for the fucking menu button. I don't know why. Escape rope. Yes, yeah, let's, let's let's copy that little fuck. Yeah, he spins around too. That's cute. Jesus, could you fucking spin around faster? God damn. Shit's making me dizzy. Okay, whoa there. Easy there, buddy. Easy there. All right. Now we're gonna go heal up, and then and that's where we're gonna end this episode. Because I can. Quite honestly, because I can. Yes. Um. So yeah, next episode we'll go ahead and take out Faulkner. Um. And go travel down the one road. Um. And I don't know if we're actually gonna do that all in one episode. We might split it up. But um. Oh God, I keep doing that. But yeah, then we'll go get the old rod and then head back to Cherry Grove because there's something I want to fucking pick up out of the water. But, uh, yeah, that, uh, that about does it for this episode. If you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional. <laughs>